Megan and today I kind of just want to look through all my stuff, all my beauty stuff and get rid of things I literally never use and I feel like I've done this a lot recently but being in my home all the time now um it's just such a waste of like energy to see stuff or use things that I don't like or that have irritated my skin or that my skin is too, too sensitive to now like my skin has always been sensitive but it's really ramped up in the past like six months to a year um so I have to be really really careful with what I use now so I'm in my bathroom but I'm also going to go through my makeup I don't think there's tons of makeup that I really am going to get rid of but I don't know I need to look through it with like some fresh eyes so I just was outside for like an hour and a half it was glorious get some fresh air if you can I'm very fortunate or very thankful that it's been really nice weather here um, on weekends so on the weekend I try to always read outside and I really want to make it a habit to like take a walk every day when it's nice and things like that so um, I'm feeling like clear-headed and everything so let's get started here in my bathroom looking through my skincare and body care stuff and just kind of like say goodbye to things that I don't need to keep around. <laughs> So these two products were basically the inspiration for this video. Um, I received these Alpine Beauty really, really nice, beautifully packaged, like it's all glass, recyclable, amazing like presentation. Um, and you can see I used quite a bit of the cleanser and then some of this like sleeping mask. But when I was having the most skin issues last month, it was coinciding with when I was using these products and they have, since they're natural, they have like a very natural like fragrance to them and things like that. So um, I'm going to part with these. I don't know if they were part of what was irritating my skin, but once I stopped using them, I did not miss them and I don't really feel like risking more skin issues so i'm gonna see if any of my friends or my mom want this because there is quite a lot left and since it wasn't like i scooped out of any packaging like since it's a pump i feel like it's very sanitary so i can pass it along so i am going to get rid of those for sure then this um, Polish Choice Triple Algae Pollution Shield. I feel like a lot of Polish Choice products just don't like excite me. They don't really do anything in my opinion and this is definitely one of them. Like it just is kind of like a nothing product. Here's a little bit of that Polish Choice product like squeezed out so you can see it's just kind of like an essence almost and I don't know it has kind of like a blech smell like it doesn't smell very good and I received this in PR and I just don't really see like I don't know I'm just not into this so I am going to part ways with that I just had you guys in this um, little thingy from real techniques so I don't know that would work as like a phone or a tripod holder but anyway let's get back to this um, a lot of this stuff I use and enjoy I'm trying to use up the Polish choice peptide booster it's okay um, probably won't like repurchase that stuff that I wouldn't repurchase there's plenty of that in my collection but that doesn't mean like I hate it by any means so just spreading some of that stuff out um let's see what else I really need to get using my sheet masks I have not used sheet masks in quite some time um but the real issue is my jar masks this peach and lily super reboot resurfacing mask 
is way too intense for my skin. Um, it always burned and it kind of feels like products are working when they're burning, um, but it just always made my skin red. So I am going to part ways with that. Um, this glycolic um, pumpkin mask, I wanna give that a few more chances and same with the Eve Lom. The Kate Somerville, I really want to use that uh, with my mom and Rachel because I think it kind of just isn't one that will do much, but it's kind of fun and cute. And then the rest of these I do really like, but I need to actively use them. And it's pretty dusty up there because I never ever use those products. Um, moisturizers, that is stuff that I constantly use. So I think all of this is good. All right, over here in this little cart, I save our toilet paper rolls for Caitlin's gerbil. <laughs> Um, I need to take those to her when all this is over. Um, so I have body lotions here and I just really, I don't know, I'm just not sure what I want to do with my body lotions at this time. Um, I love my hemp's, I'm definitely keeping those. The Aveeno I think are safe for sensitive skin. I have this Trader Joe's that I think should be okay, at least on my legs. Um, and then I have like hair stuff. I have like when I used to have red hair, um, I just have so much random stuff that like literally I could get rid of today and I would never ever miss it. Um, yeah, I just, I keep this stuff around because I feel like I might need it one day. Um, yeah. Let me just look through this and make some decisions. All right, so I'm going to get rid of the Alterna Caviar CC Hair Cream Bond Repair Heat Protection Spray and the Aveda Scalp Revitalizer. Never gonna use those. And then I have this Maui Moisture Hair Mask. I used this one time like years ago and I've been scared of it ever since because it um, broke me out. So it's literally like full. I'm gonna see if Caitlin wants this or something, but yeah, that's stuff I just, I'll never miss because I never really do anything with my hair and my skin is really sensitive. So I can't use anything with silicones or anything like that. So definitely gonna get rid of those and that makes me feel really good. Okay, under my sink is where I keep like all my skincare backups and yeah. So this is really, really hard for me and I don't know if I'll be able to bring myself to do it, but the Colleen Rothschild Radiant Cleansing Balm is just too, I, I don't know if it's too heavy for my skin to something like it I just don't think it works for me as well as I thought it did and I could keep this around for the next eight months until it gets cold again six to eight months whatever um but I just think it's too heavy for my skin this is how much I used of the product and I still have a lot left. Um, I feel like I should give this another shot and see if it really is too heavy for my skin because this was expensive. I used to think it was one of my favorite products, so I'm not sure. But I think I'm gonna give this like one week and see if my skin seems like weird because my skin has been really great lately. Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna give it like that last week just to see. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do with this product. Okay, what else? So I have a lot of my favorite products, like the Clinique. I was sent some Good Molecules products to try out, so I will be testing those. Um, let's see. Oh, this is one of my favorite moisturizers moisturizers for the summer, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Juice. 
so yeah i just have like kind of a lot of different random things this was recently sent to me from Polish Choice, the Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid. It's SPF 50. I do really like this, so I'm going to keep this for the summertime. I'm actually gonna move this to my makeup backup drawer because that's where I keep my face sunscreens. Um, what else? We have more backups. I have a bunch of essences. Maybe not a bunch, I have a few. Okay, good, I don't have as many as I thought, so that is good. And then I have cleansers over here. So I think all of this is okay. I pretty much only keep backups or have backups of stuff that was either sent to me or that I love. So I think all of this is good. All right, my hair care and shower products I have in here. I went through this a few months ago and got rid of some stuff so obviously you guys know i have quite a lot of bath and body works but i'm on a no buy for that and it's going really well um and my summer's eve products i swear by and then some tums very important um shampoo and conditioners oops that was just a conditioning oh my god sorry that was just this um shampoo bar from the earthling co i have a shampoo and conditioner bar so i have like a few different sets of shampoo and conditioner that i want to try or use and then i just have like toothpaste and contact lens stuff so everything in here is a-okay now we are here at my vanity um yeah so this is my everyday makeup rotating organizer um, we're kind of backlit right now, but this is stuff that I'm like using on the daily So I'm not going to really go through that. The lighting is like not good for that angle um, My color pop Super shock shadows. I love these um, But I can tell they're getting dry like Way drier than I thought they would be for I literally only started buying these less than a year ago so I want to make sure I'm using these I like all the colors they're all super pretty I have a lot that are honestly pretty similar so I need to get going on these um but I do really really love them I think I should pull out Chanel New Moon I always forget about it in there so I actually am gonna put this in my everyday makeup thing um i do a video on that every month but i'm gonna kind of add something to it for now this section is like all of my eye makeup stick products so i have like my mascaras my eyeliners um some of my glitter eyeshadows and i love all of these products they are all just glorious i need to use them more i go through my brow products i'm working on some of those i use my mascaras and stuff really often and then for this section where it's like all of my eye liners and like shadow sticks i use these relatively frequently I like really kind of bounce between them and I don't feel like I have a lot of overlap with the colors so I think I'm honestly good keeping all these like probably at some point I will feel like narrowing it down but right now I kind of have like all different colors so I think I feel good like just keeping all of that for now so that is good this is like my lip products that i other than my makeup uh, rotating thing this is like kind of my most reach for makeup or lipsticks lip products so i don't think there's any that i'm like blech like i want to get rid of but hmm okay so there are a few lip products that i've been needing to get rid of for a while or a long time that I am going to finally get rid of and 
then hopefully I'll be able to use up other things. So I'm going to get rid of all of the Rimmel lipsticks that I've held on to for literally years that I say every single time I need to use them up. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it's time. It is time to say goodbye. They are gorgeous. They are probably not made anymore. Um, Summer Angel is one that I used a ton. It's like a frosty. Let me put it on and see if my heart pitter patters. Still smells the same. And I was wearing um, Nurse or Kugian. And like it is really pretty. And maybe this is the only one I'll keep. But the other ones, Piccadilly Pink. Like, I never really wear pinks. Um, Nude and the City. This is a really pretty one. That is really pretty. See, here's the problem. I talk myself into them every time. Mm. I don't know, the tone is weird on that one. So I don't love that. So I don't feel bad getting rid of that one. Um, let's get naked. It's like a peach and I don't really ever wear those types of colors. And then to nude or not to nude, this would be the other one I might keep. This is another like frosty color. Yeah, that one's really pretty. So I think I'm gonna keep the Summer Angel and to nude or not to nude, my Bite Beauty lipsticks. These are quite old and I never use them. That is Pepper never use it and beetroot I maybe used once all like fall winter it's gorgeous but these are like natural lipsticks and I just I don't know and then mimosa is one that's like really pretty for summertime I think I am gonna keep that and see if I use it this summer but if I don't, like, it has to go because it's just, it takes so long to use up a lipstick and I need to get better about getting rid of them if I'm not using them. My other lipsticks, I don't think I'm in, like, a time-sensitive situation, but those I've had for a really long time, um, especially the Rimmel. So I'm going to need to try to use up the to nude or not to nude and summer angel but those are the ones that i love the most and the other ones i won't miss at all so i am gonna get rid of five lipsticks and these are gonna go in the trash because they're old and yeah so yay <laughs> then over here i have my eyeshadow palettes this one isn't put back right for some reason um I don't have any reason to get rid of any of these, so I'm going to keep all of those. Then I have my face makeup drawer, and something I like to keep in mind is just because I'm not using something right now doesn't mean I'll never want to use it. So a lot of these products are more like summery or even um, like fall winter. So right now, since we're moving more in the spring direction, I am not using like really bronzy things or really like a mauve purpley things that I might use more in the fall winter. So um, I like everything I feel like I have. Um, there's certain things that I want to try when my skin is slightly oilier. Like I have these primers that I really want to test out and decide whether or not I want to keep them. I have a lot of powders I need to be testing and from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty I got the um, MAC MSF Natural and Light. Let me try to open this. It's magnetic so it's kind of hard to open with one hand. So here is the MAC MSF. I love that it has a mirror in the compact and it's nice and magnetized. So 
Um, yeah, I guess it doesn't fit. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, that was perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm testing that out. I really like all my highlighters. I really like all my blushes. I like everything, you guys. So yeah, as I expected, not getting rid of anything from this drawer. My eyeshadow drawer. I have so many beautiful things and I'm really liking my like rotating makeup organizer so I can choose to use things at different times when I'm feeling like using them. These donut palettes, although they look really like kiddish, they have really like sophisticated color combinations, but I don't reach for them very much. So I think they're more like fall winter. Oops, I just like dug my nail into this one. Um, but they're really pretty. So I do want to hang on to those. I have a lot of glitter products that I don't use very much, but I do <laughs> love glitter. So um, this kind of color I don't really love. This is the Sydney Grace Pistol eyeshadow. It's like the red, brown, blue type of thing. It's just not really my style. So going to pass that along. Uh, let's see what else. This is kind of like a hodgepodge right now. It's not really well organized. I think that's the only thing out of there that I'm going to part ways with. My eyeshadow palettes. I literally love all my eyeshadow palettes. And if you guys have like the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded, let me know if you think it's worth it because it's going to be half off during the 21 Days of Beauty, but I have all of these other naked palettes, so I just don't know if it's really like something special or if you think I could live without it. I know I could live without it, but maybe if it's, I don't know. Just let me know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, probably not going to get any rid of anything in here. This palette I always hang on to but <laughs> never really use. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Smoky Eye Palette. I think it is really convenient. Um, I just don't like the highlighter but other than that it's a nice palette so I do keep it but it is something I kind of forget about so Maybe I'll need to pull that out for next month. But for this drawer, I'm only getting rid of that one eyeshadow. For lip products, this is my other drawer with them. Um, I feel bad getting rid of like lip glosses and stuff because I just throw them out because I think it's like unsanitary to pass them on. There's some colors that I'll probably not ever use up. I don't really use lip gloss a ton no matter what. Um, I also don't really love the um, L'Oreal Plump and Shine lip products. I got these last summer and I'm gonna hang on to them until um, like this summer because they are like more summery colors that I bought but I don't like the tingling effect. It's just not my thing. But I am going to keep those um, since the colors are more appropriate for summer, in my opinion. So yeah, again, I don't think I'm going to get rid of anything here, which kind of I expected. And then this is my makeup backup drawer. Um, it's very chaotic down here. I have like some Halloween stuff in the back there. I have this EOS lip balm. I don't really like those, so I will donate that because it's unopened. I have some good lip balms that I'm definitely going to use. Wow, lots of lip balms. Uh, this is that Polish Choice stuff that I just put in here. This is very... Oh my gosh, I have another one from them from last year. Does this say an expiration on it? So... The one that I had before expires this November, and then the one I just got expires next October. So as long as I use them in that order, it'll be fine. But, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, this is a little or a lot disorganized. I have a lot of mascara backups that I will be working through. Tons of these 
benefit brow products that I was sent and I'm so thankful for. Um, yeah, I just have a lot down here. It's kind of insane. Um, yeah. What is this? Ulta eye primer. I've never used this and I have eye primers I like so I'm just going to pass that along. Yeah, the rest of this are products I actually like and will use and use up. So yeah. Oh my god. It looks crazy in there but um, I it's kind of like I know it's in there but it's disorganized so I need to reorganize it but that will be maybe a project I work on while in quarantine. At my bedside I have some lotions. I'm going to get rid of this Wish Foot Exfoliating Mask. I don't know. I just don't really care about that. And then I have lotions. I'm honestly so scared of trying different Gold Bond lotions now because they, that one like really broke me out or made me get hives. So I'm actually going to donate that because I've never used that. Um, then I have some sunscreens from last year and then some Bath and Body Works lotions that I'm going to have to work on. Let me um, bring out this peach one because spring is very applicable for peach scents so I'll try to use that up. But I think that's it for body products. Alright you guys, so I got rid of those five lipsticks feel awesome about that and I put the other two in my um, rotating makeup um, organizer so hopefully I reach for those a lot more so just to recap I am going to declutter the Alpine Beauty products I'm gonna give the Colleen Rothschild cleansing balm another shot just in case I'm going to declutter the Peach and Lily super reboot resurfacing mask this is nice but not great if you have some sensitive skin like it's very intense um i'm going to declutter the Cine grace pistol eyeshadow pigment i'm going to um donate the eos lip balm since it was never opened and the gold bond radiance renewal oil infused cream never used the um alterna caviar bond repair never used the caviar cc cream i think i use this once so i'll pass that on to like a friend or family this ulta beauty primer i think i'll have my mom or caitlin try that out this aveda scalp renewal never used so i can donate that the polish choice polish choice triple algae pollution shield i really don't get what this does um but i'll just let someone try that um, the Wish Exfoliating Foot Mask. This is like fine, but I don't know. I just don't really like it. And honestly, I thought about this some more, the Maui Moisture. I've had this for a while and I think it's like all natural and stuff. I don't know. So I might just get rid of that. It wasn't very expensive, but that is everything you guys that felt really good to just go through and just kind of get rid of some extra clutter that's been like just annoying me um so maybe if you guys have some time to just go through your stuff get rid of those things that just have been hanging on for no good reason um i think it'd be a great time just to get rid of some of that stuff and have less clutter in your space when we're spending so so much time at home so obviously I could be even more strict with myself and get rid of a lot more but to be honest I feel like a lot of my other stuff I really enjoy or I haven't given enough of a chance or it's not applicable to the season so yeah <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this I really love how much time I'm able to spend with you guys these days because I just feel like I have a lot of inspiration right now for some reason. So keep your video requests coming. If you have anything you want to see from me, let me know down below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.